All right, my peeps, I'm back and for doing some more recording here. And we are um, going to look around here at the pharmacy again. Um, and see what we can find. Luckily, see. there's nothing I need in here. Here at the office, see if we can actually get into the place. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Let's see if the remote works on it. That's what I figured. Well, that didn't work. Let's see if there's anything else. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to go back in here, it looks like. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He was. That would be, that adds some complication. I think it might have been the other battery. Yay, it is! How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. <laughs> you know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast mm -hmm. as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. That's so funny, because dead eye. Um, some of you might not know what I'm talking about at all, but, like... Since I have kids, I have to watch Spongebob a lot. And sadly, me and Brian have episodes memorized. And it reminds me of, like, Dead Eye Gulch, which is part of, like, an episode with Spongebob. I know that was kind of random. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. 
Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Let's see here. Put the antenna up. It looks like she has the batteries in backwards. continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones... God bless you all. Oh, man. Hey, Connie. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty blunt on here. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Hey there. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. That's funny, fed and watered. It sounds like, like a horse type of situation, almost. Where's that old guy? There we go. I suppose I'll be nice. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. See if there's anything we can do out here. Jesus. That's a lot of zombies. Some breakfast. I think I'm be they just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. How 
you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. The drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Hmm, that must have been his pants. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. <laughs> right. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad. Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. Any idea I think I pushed that one, so sorry if I did. No, we gotta keep looking around. Oh, okay. It's a combination lock. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him oh. than us, huh? Hmm, our ex-manager. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. If they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doug. Uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. That's where I think that picture is going to come in handy. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? Yep. I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Let's see. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? Sir. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. That was funny, that one crawling right there. <laughs> that place is full of TVs and electronics. I can't reach that brick. Can't reach that brick. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Well, we're also party to some egregious fire code <laughs> violations. I love the sarcasm. I can't reach that brick. I've got to knock that lock over there. 
imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're gonna help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. He can't reach it, so how am I supposed to do it? We break that lock off and I can get out onto the street. I can't reach that brick. I don't know then. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AB. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a <laughs> life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Mm. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. I can't reach that brick. We break that lock off, and I can get out onto the street. I wonder how we're going to get that broke. Because I don't see anything else that we could use. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Let's head back inside. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like there's much there I can do. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. <laughs> now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> like I said, I love the sarcasm. This is going to be fun. Look at all the zombies. That's a lot of zombies. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. 
All right. Well, my peeps, I'm going to end it here because this is going to be a fun event getting through this to get to that girl. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will keep adding more Walking Dead for you. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to get through episode one and episode two for you to get on to three and four. So stick with me and hope you enjoyed and I will check you later. Peace out.